Good afternoon. I'm Jonathan Wilson. I'm interviewing for the position of Assistant Sports Information Director at the University of Connecticut. First question asked was, how has my experience in the Eastern Sports Information Department prepared me for the jump to a much bigger university in UConn? One of the nicest things about working in a smaller sports information department was that I got a chance to do a lot of different jobs. I did everything from live stats to video to photography. This means that I have experience on all facets of game day production. And when I get thrown into the mix of things at the University of Connecticut, I'm not going to be starting from square one. Sure, I'm going to have to learn about the UConn way. I may have to learn some new software and new protocols, but I'll be willing to do that. You won't have to teach me the rules. You won't have to teach me what needs to exactly be done because I've already had some experience doing it and I can be a valuable member of the team right off the bat. Second question was, how do I respond to media requests? Well, the first thing I do is I make sure I understand the request clearly. I wanna make sure I don't mix anything up. The next thing I do is I present that information to our NCAA compliance officer. This officer is gonna make sure that we don't make any big mistakes that could get us in trouble. For the most part, it's pretty straightforward, just newspaper articles or requesting statistics, but every once in a while, a media member might ask for, to write a hit piece. I have to make sure that none of the information that they're gonna receive is gonna make the university look bad. When she gives me the okay, I head over to the other parties involved, the coaches, the players, whoever the media member is asking for, and I make sure that they're okay with me sending over the information being asked the statistics, video, a quote, whatever it is, I make sure they're okay with it. Then I head back to my office and I let the media member know that everything is all set for them. I do remind them that the lines of communication remain open between me and that media member. Just in case anything changes, I can be there to help them and ensure that we know exactly what's being put out about our university right away. The next question was, how did I re handle receiving large amounts of information and how do I prioritize it? The number one thing that has to go up on websites and on social media accounts is the bare bones information, box scores, reading scores, maybe a photo or two, not the entire album, just a photo or two. These are things that media members need to do their job. These are things that we need to do to make sure that our website looks good, to make sure that our social media accounts are active understand that UConn has a lot more media members involved. So getting these, this information out to them so that they can start writing their stories is important in our social media. UConn has a lot more followers, so that has to be much more professional and it has to be done in a moment's notice. The next thing I do is start working my way down. So typically after a game, after you get the bare bones stuff, the statistics, and maybe a couple pictures, then you write the game story. And that goes up. And then you make some social media posts about things that happen in the game, maybe highlights, maybe it's a graphic. And you work your way down to what the most important thing it is. Unfortunately, you can't always get things done in the day. So one of the things I really like to do is reach out to either media members or staff members and, and whatever I couldn't get done, remind them that I haven't forgotten about them and they are priority for the next day. This just builds a good relationship and it makes the department look good and it's something that I'm sure is important to the University of Connecticut. Final question was, what are my long range goals at the University of Connecticut? The first thing I wanna be is, is very valuable. I wanna be someone that can work at any sport, in any role, and be trusted to do a quality job. I wanna be able to help my coworkers around me, and I wanna be a leader on teams that are putting on game day productions for the sports information department. Ultimately, I'd love to be a sports information director myself, and that could be at the University of Connecticut. That'd be amazing. I grew up a UConn fan. It's got an amazing academic rec reputation, and it has an amazing athletic program. There's no better place to work in my mind. And if that position was ever opened up and I had the experience, I would love to be considered for it. But right now, I'm just focused on being a valuable member of the team as soon as I can. I appreciate you guys taking my interview. And I look forward to hearing from you shortly.